Nidwittians, we got an awesome upgrade video for you this evening. We are going to be throwing an RTX 3060 Ti in here. I will have some benchmarks at the end that could do a comparison side by side. And yeah, we're going to jump right into this upgrade. Go ahead and power down your PC, unplug it, get your side panel off, and then meet me uh, for the upgrade. All right, Nidwittians, we're going to jump right into this. We got everything off. Like I said in the previous video, we're going to grab these two screws. Go ahead and undo these. What's nice is there's a retaining door here. So normally you wouldn't take the screws off first, you take the power off and unclip the GPU. But because this door's here, we can keep it here. So we're gonna come and grab our power supply, our eight pin or our six plus two. Pop that guy off. Then we have to stick our finger in here and get this tab and unlock it. And it's unlocked. Open up our door, reach in, and wiggle and jiggle and our GPU is out. This is the 2060 if you're wondering, it's not the 1650. The 1650 would be a little bit shorter. If you're wondering where that video is, I have another video where we do the 2060 and I take the 1650 out. Go ahead and grab your 3060 Ti and you're gonna bring it on in here, line it up. You should hear a snap. There we go, we're gonna grab our same power cable that we had, it's in the same orientation. Uh, if you're wondering if you took the 1650 out here, you are going to have to add the two plus pins on here. You can't use the six pin because this is an eight pin connector. Go ahead and snap it on home. Close your door in the back. Replace your two screws and meet me for a benchmark. And that's, uh, we'll compare our two GPUs to see how good of an upgrade this is. Hey guys, we got back here and we got both benchmarks ran and I ran the 1650 benchmark previously. And that's what I have up. So we're gonna jump over to on screen really quick here. And yes, so our 1650 GTX scored 3,596 and this was Time Spy, a DirectX 12. Our first graphics test was 21.46 and our second graphics test was 19.12. Uh, of course, this was done on a 4K monitor. Uh, our second, our RTX 3060 Ti scored 10,299. This would be a very good card if you wanted to do 4K you know, with minimum settings like medium, high. First graphics test FPS was 73.68, and our second was 62.53. I'm gonna say that if you can afford a 3060 Ti and you can get your hands on one, that's gonna be the upgrade you wanna do in this Acer. This is gonna be the minimum that you're gonna be very happy with very detailed graphics, especially if you wanna do 4K. If you wanna do 4K and you want it to look pretty, this is probably the minimum card you're gonna want. Um, of course, 1440p Ultra, you're gonna be sitting in the hundreds and 160 FPS with this card. Uh, unless you do something like Red Dead Redemption, that's gonna be a lot lower. Um, other than that, guys, this was a Tech Knit with Productions. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Do you have any questions, concerns, comments, throw them down below. And I also, if you uh, are wondering where I link everything, it's down in the description box down below. And have an awesome night, y'all.